Hey guys, I wanted to show you something here. Um, I almost made a potentially a critical mistake when I was putting this together. So I wanted to show you something. Um, you've probably heard the term dielectric grease and dielectric compound thrown around kind of interchangeably. And those of you that work on computers and uh, Xboxes and things like that a lot, um, you probably already know this, I'm sure, and you're probably saying, well, I can't tell you that, but I don't work on stuff like this very much, and I'm not familiar with it, so I had to learn something, kind of like trial and error, and so I'm going to share it with you guys that are probably also like me, and you don't, you're just not into that kind of work very much, and you don't know any better. Um, now, I'd heard the term dielectric compound, dielectric grease, and stuff like that thrown around, and I did a little bit of research on the internet, and I had thought that this stuff here, and let me say ahead of time, this is not a reflection on the, t the product itself, this is just what it is. Um, this is dielectric grease here, and I found this at the parts store, and I thought, well, that's probably what that stuff is that needs to go between the heat sink and the module. You know, so there was some on here. Usually when you take one off and replace it, you'll always find some of that white little stuff on there. So, but I noticed, I put some on here, and I noticed, um, I'll just go ahead and just show you what it looks like. I noticed when I squoze some of this out here, See, it's kind of like clear. See that? And it is a greasy type of a substance. So it definitely is grease. So I use that. I put it on the back of this module. I was getting ready to reassemble this. And, um, you know what I thought about? I thought, you know, so that just doesn't seem right. That doesn't look like the stuff that I've always seen on there. You know, it's close, but it doesn't really look like it. You know, when you have something in the back of your mind that's just speaking to you and just saying, you know, this this may not be right, you better check on this. So sure enough, I got on the internet and did some research and come to find out this stuff here, this dielectric grease, brand notwithstanding, but this dielectric grease, this is not what you put on the back of modules. I found a couple of discussion threads where people were that know about it were saying that's absolutely not what you put on the back of these. It's it's two different things. So this stuff here, this dilated grease, this is a good product, but what this is used for is like spark plug caps and you know terminals and things like that you want to like seal. It's a good sealer, it seals out moisture and it does uh, does not conduct electricity and it's an insulator. That's the main thing you have to remember what the problem is why you can't use this on the back of this stuff. The point being that this is on a heat sink or a mount on a distributor or other piece of big metal piece this module is for the very reason that this module when it's in operation it conduct it creates heat and the heat has to go somewhere. It has to be transferred away from this module or this thing will cook and it'll just burn up and it'll fail. So that's that's why you can't use this on here because this will not conduct heat it does not conduct any heat it's an insulator an insulator means that whatever is here does not go here to make it simple so don't use this stuff now this is not like i said this is not a bad product there's nothing wrong with the product i'm just trying to illustrate to you why what it is what it's used for and how it could be used incorrectly so i just got done going to town i went to that place and got this stuff. This is called Thermal Compound, premium high quality. They had about three different types of it. This one's just called Arctic Silver Ceramic. But anyway, it doesn't necessarily matter what kind you use, as long as you use the right type. This Thermal Compound There's always somebody driving by out here. This thermal compound is a conductor of heat. As opposed to this stuff, it conducts the heat from whatever you have here to here, like a heat sink. It's mainly used like on computers. This is what this is intended to use, but it works perfectly on this. So I went ahead and cleaned this back off. I didn't even put any on here yet because I, I didn't get that far with it. But um, that's the deal. This is the kind of stuff you want. It looks like a little bit of a gray or white paste. It's not clear like this, I don't believe. So, 
anyway, I want to educate you folks that are not computer savvy, don't have computers apart all the time and stuff like that. You guys do. Y'all know this stuff. You could have told me. I know that. But um, that's the deal. I wanted to warn you folks that are work, ever work on this stuff um, to not to not mess up and use the wrong thing or you'll burn your module up and have to go get another one. All right. Well, see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Have you a good one.